Sonic the Hedgehog is a, a film series that has been absolutely delightful. Just wonderful. Uh, I mean, and it really surprised me. I thought the it was going to be quite bad. I didn't really love the concept or anything like that, even when they changed the design of everything. It didn't really, I didn't think this is going to make any difference. The first movie, totally delightful. The second movie, equally so. And one of the big, great additions to the second movie was the character of Knuckles. Uh, that was, of course, voiced by Idris Elba. Now, some time ago, some of you may have forgotten that they announced that Knuckles was going to have his own spinoff series. And now we've got a bunch more information as they're going into production on this thing fairly soon, if not already in production. And they've rounded out the cast and they got some pretty good names on there in the cast for right now. So let's go over and take a look at this. So joining the cast, obviously your leads are going to be Idris Elba and Adam Polly. I hope that's how you pronounce Polly's name. Polly. Of course, Adam is in the first two Sonic movies and they are going to be the center of the plot of the new show because apparently Knuckles agrees to take on Adam's character as an apprentice, if you will, to train him in the ways of the warrior. And the hound so, is in this. What's that? And the hound is well, in this. Well, and I was going to get down <laughs> to that, but yes, Rory McCann is going to be making appearance of this, the hound from Game of Thrones. Scott Mascuti, also known as Kid Cuddy, is going to be in there. The original mm -hmm. film's Taika Sumter is uh, going to be appearing in it. I don't think she's going to be there in every episode, but she's at least going to make a few appearances in it. And Ted Lasso's uh, Ellie Taylor. I love her in Ted Lasso. Sassy uh, Smurf. What's that? Sassy Smurf. That, I love her in this. She's fantastic. So she's going to be appearing in it as well. So a really nice kind of rounded out cast. Now, in this room, I don't think there's a bigger Sonic fan than Chris. <laughs> So, maybe Ray. No. Maybe oh, probably no. me. Ray wants yeah, Shadow. It's probably me. Yeah. Ray's looking for Shadow. So, yeah. Chris, as, as the most excited person for the Sonic movies in mm -hmm. the room, you take a look at this. And number one, what do you think in general of a Knuckles series that's going to be coming to Paramount Plus? Apparently, it should be noted that it's going to be set between the events mm -hmm. of Sonic 2 and the upcoming Sonic 3. What do you think about them doing the series in general? And what do you think about the cast lineup? Well, we're expanding into the Sonic cinematic universe. <laughs> Everyone's got to have their own cinematic universe these days. But I am really, really hyped about this one. This is a fantastic cast. Adam Pally is a wonderful, wonderful comedic performer. Strong improv roots. Really, really fantastic. Um, I love, love Kid Cudi. So I'm really excited to see him in here. And then on IMDb, somebody else who's going to be in here is Julian Barrett, who's from The Mighty Boosh which is one of the funniest shows of all time. Old Greg, all those great skits and everything. So I think this is going to be just an incredibly funny show, which I think is really interesting given, given the character of Knuckles, right? We saw a kind of more fun, relaxed side at the very end of the second film. Um, but for the most part, he's a really intense dude, right? He's a very intense echidna. So I think it'll be really interesting to see how this plays out with all of these comedic human performers in the mix but I'm pumped about it. I love this character. I think Idris did a fantastic job voicing it. We don't always have that connection, right, of an on-camera actor True. delivering yeah. vocally, and he really, really did. Um, <coughs> interested to see how Shadow does. He's listed for two episodes here. Um, uh, that is Tyler Antonius, who I know has done a little bit of thing. He was in Sing, he's a rapper, um, but I'm not very familiar with him. And I know Shadow just has to be so unbelievably cool <laughs> or ray will cry ray, or, or ray is gonna burn paramount to the ground i i okay i i say this without hyperbole and without exaggeration i have never ever seen ray aura as excited in a movie theater as when the post credit scene for Sh Sonic 2 came up and it was Shadow. I, I, I've honestly never seen him get more excited. It, it, was a, it was a contest between me and the kid that was sitting right next to me. Yeah, yeah Both this of little kid like, like so I try to get louder than him, but you know what? Shadow's just such like, he's, he has like his fan base and then a lot of people hate the character. I just think the whole thing was like just ridiculous. So that's why I like the character. I think his whole origin is ridiculous. Um, but I can't wait to see. This is going to bump up Paramount Plus's uh, subscribers, I think, a little bit when this comes out. They've been doing, well, they need something that's either not Star Trek or Taylor Sheridan. They need, they need to get something well, going. Well, uh, uh, bring a lot of parents, maybe. I to, mean, it to could. Get, to get it for their kids or something like that. I don't know. Because right now, it's all Yellowstone, right? It's all Yellowstone, Yellowstone and Star Halo, Trek. Halo, all the older older people stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the older people. <laughs> old people stuff. Ray Orr has declared that any Star Trek fandom is just 
older, older people, people stuff. Older people stuff. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this in the lineup? I think it looks really good. I'm kind of excited about seeing it. The Sonic franchise has won me over. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. Guys, it is 2023 and online privacy and security has never been more important. You see, every device, phones, computers, tablets has a unique IP address, which is like an internet phone number and reveals personal information about you. It's super simple for somebody online who knows what they're doing to find your IP address. If you've ever clicked on a sketchy link or opened an email from somebody you don't know, your IP address could become exposed. Now that's where ExpressVPN has your back. ExpressVPN is an app that hides your real IP address and replaces it with a dummy one, keeping you safe and private. And you don't have to be some kind of techie to use a VPN. Guys, it is so easy to use. Just download the ExpressVPN app on your phone or computer, tap one button to turn it on, and you're protected. And if you like your streaming entertainment, here's the coolest part. They let you choose what country you want your IP address to look like it's coming from. This is incredibly useful because services like Netflix and Disney Plus give you different shows depending on what country you're in. So secure your family's online activity and unlock tons of new shows by visiting expressvpn.com slash campia. Use my link and you can get three extra months free. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, vpn.com slash campia. Go to expressvpn.com slash campia to learn more.